Hey everyone, welcome back to another module. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to edit and customize the homepage of your store. So here I am, I'm, in, I'm under appearance, I'm under theme editor, and I'm under home page. Right here it shows and says, enable your store to have its own custom homepage by toggling the button to on. This will unlock advanced customization options below. So before I click on, I want to show you what my theme currently looks like. So right now it takes me directly to my view all products category page. Now, once I turn on my homepage, once I click this logo, it'll take me to the homepage or right now, if you were to select the logo, it takes me to a category page. So going back to this tab, I'm going to toggle it on. And just to show you visually, I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm gonna select the logo again. And now look, here is my home page. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit and customize this page. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the line. I'm gonna scroll through each one of these. The first one is show slider. Immediately capture the attention of your store's visitors by showing a sliding slider widget. Recommended size 963 by 700. This is very important right here, you guys because each theme is different when it comes to the slider banner size. So make sure that you're looking at the recommended size for the theme that you picked, because maybe you're watching this and you're not using Launchpad and that's okay. These steps are gonna be exactly the same for every theme. The only difference is gonna be the recommended size for the banner image and for the logo. Okay, so now that I covered that it's important to look out for this, we're gonna go ahead and click turn on and select add slider images. And then it's gonna ask you to click upload. I've already created one. So now here it is. Something to note, let's say you didn't use a recommended size and it, it looks something like this. You uploaded your image and you have all this extra blank space. Make sure you zoom in, okay? It will not look good if you upload your image like this because once you upload it, it's gonna show like this on your store. It's gonna be super small with all this extra blank space. So I'm gonna zoom in and have, keep it just where I had it. And if you're using the recommended size, regardless of the theme, it should be fitting just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click crop and upload. And then now scrolling down, slider background color, slider text color. You could change the background, which I'll show you in a moment. And you could change the slider text color. Right now I'm gonna leave it default and then we'll come back and edit it. And then you have slider headline and slider sub headline. This is important. This is your first impression. Your homepage is the first impression when people come to your store. So you wanna make sure that you're putting thought and intention into the very first sentence and words that they're gonna read when they come to your site. So I'm just gonna randomly throw something up there, but if this were my store that I'm actually gonna promote and sell products on, I would be more intentional. I'm just gonna put the official launch your merch store. Okay. I'll put the best mer the best motivating and inspiring merch out there. Once again, I'm just throwing it up there. Oops, motivating. But I kind of put, you know, the headline and the sub headline who we are, and what we have to offer and who we are here to serve. Scrolling down, show button. You can have it off or have it on. I encourage you to have this on because it's gonna have the text and then it's gonna have a call to action button. So button text, I'm gonna put shop now. You could put buy now, support now, it's up to you. And then the button needs to link somewhere. So do you want to go to your shop, like all products or a certain page, like an about us page, a mission and statement page, a category page, a product page or a custom URL. I always say to do just your main page or a category. Like maybe maybe your image up here is promoting a certain category, then you'd want to link to that category. In this case, it's just generic, so I'm going to do the shop your store's main shop page. I'm going to click update. I'm going to scroll down. Before I go on to these, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to click preview theme cuz I always want to review my work. And there you go, look at that. I have my nice image, I have my, my headline, my sub headline, and then my button. 
I'll be sharing with you in just a moment how to change the color of the button. But look at this. My store is already looking so much better and so much elevated. I love it. Okay, and as you can see, my image, you guys, only is on the right side, on desktop. Okay, so on the other themes, some of the slider images take up the whole section. Where this theme, Launchpad, the text and buttons on the left, the image is on the right. So once again, that's why it's important to use the recommended size that Launchcart gives you. On mobile, it's a little bit different. And I always encourage you as you're building your store, check it on desktop and check it on mobile. These themes are optimized for mobile, but still review it and see if you like it. On mobile though, for this theme, the image is actually like on top and then the text and button are below it. Okay, so I love this. It's already looking good, but now I wanna share with you how to add color behind this slider. Maybe you want a pop of color. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna paste in my branding color. This is the color of my logo. So brand consistency, if your logo is red and black, yellow and orange, pick one of those colors, you know, stay on brand and then just copy and paste that right here. Slider text color, I'm gonna change this to white because I know white will look good on this green color. I'm gonna select update, scroll down, save, Come here, refresh, and there you go. Now you can see when it, when it says change slider color, it's changing the whole background, okay? And that's why it's important also, I don't know if I said this, that when you're creating your slider banner image for any of the themes, that you make it a transparent PNG. So see how when I kind of grab this photo, it's transparent, there's no white background behind it, no black background. That's because if you do change the color of the background slider, it's just going to, you know, seamlessly look good. It's going to flow together. It's not going to look blocky or chunky or weird. I don't know what words to use, but just know, use a transparent PNG because it's going to look elevated and it's going to look cohesive. Okay. So once again, transparent PNG, it looks nice. It looks great. Okay. So that is how you would add the slider, how you would customize it, how you would change the colors and add the shop now button. If you wanted to add more slider images, you can do that. You would just select add slider image and do the exact same steps, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna move on to show top categories. If you've already created your store categories and assigned products to them, enable this widget to showcase your top categories. This is exactly why I put store design towards the end of the course, because by now you should already have created your categories and you should already have created some products. Okay, so go ahead and just switch this to on and select add top category. If you watch the previous videos, you would have seen that each of the themes show on the homepage of slider image, top categories, and featured products. So what I'm showing you right now is the same across all themes. So for the categories, you do need to create separate images. And it does give you a recommended size, 238 by 238. Since this is a demo store, I just went and took the images from the two products that I've already made, which is the t-shirt and the mug. So I'm just gonna take that image. I typically would go create um, more unique images. I would go create an image that has models in it and that just showcases the products in a different way, different than what they're already seeing from the collection category pages. But for example purposes, I'm just gonna use what I have. So I'm gonna fit it in that box I'm going to click crop and upload, and then I'm going to select the category, which in this case would be, you know, either women's or men's. Is it graphic tees? I'm going to go ahead and just select women's, update, add tap category. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add my mug now, okay, for my drinkware. Zoom out, because this isn't the recommended size, so I do need to zoom out for it. I want to make it fit. Once again, typically I'd go create different mock-up images for my mugs. Maybe I'd show off more than one mug. You know, if, let's say I had different mugs. I would show them off in one image. Category, drinkware. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And I want to show you something. If I click save and click preview theme, we exile on these. Look at this. Here are my featured categories. It's already looking so good, you guys. I just, I've been building stores for years and I've built over 90 online stores, but I get excited every time I build a store, even though this is just a demo. 
But look how nice this looks. I have women's and I have drinkware. So every theme, you have the option to add three up to three categories. I always encourage you to utilize all three because if you don't, look at this. It just has extra blank space. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my homepage. I'll go back to my, you know, to the back end of my account. Go to add tab category. Since I've only built two products, I'm just going to add the t-shirt again. But let's say I was selling hoodies. I would add the hoodies here. Crop and upload. I'm going to do graphic tees actually just to show you. Okay. Maybe I want, and if I want to rearrange them, maybe put that here. Woman's graphic tees. Maybe I'd have this hoodies, graphic tees, drinkware, you know, select your top categories, what you think they're going to be. I know you haven't made sales yet because you're just now starting the store, but as you're, as you launch your store and start making sales, you will soon notice what your top categories are and you can always come back here and swap them out and change them. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click save, come here, click refresh, and there we go. Super nice. So this is why I typically would go change the image and make something different because if they go to the shop page, it's the exact same images. So that's kind of a little Candace tip trick to elevate your store, make it look better and have a more elevated look is customizing and creating unique images for the different category. Okay, going back, moving on, show featured products. Show off your best selling products here. You might be like, I don't know my, my best selling products yet. That's okay. Select what you think or what you have. I only have two products, so I'm going to go ahead and add them. But once again, as you launch your store, as you grow it, as you start making sales, you can always come back here and swap out the top selling products. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Come in here. I'm always saving and refreshing to look at it. And there you go, my featured products. So on desktop, the row is of four products. On mobile, it's just, you know, they'll just scroll and it looks seamless and it looks cohesive. But on desktop, I always suggest to add at least four products because there'll be a product here, a product here. Once you surpass four products, it'll just go below it. You can honestly add as many as you want. I always add between four products to 12 products, but totally up to you. Okay, so last but not least for the homepage, we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna scroll down to the show benefit icons. Let your store visitors know about your shipping speed, purchase guarantee, how fast your support is, or anything else you can think of here. You're gonna go ahead and select this and turn it on, and you'll see different benefit icons. Secure, oops, secure online payment, fast customer support, fast shipping. You could add more, or you could change these. It's totally up to you. I typically just leave them as they are. But you guys, this is a feature that is slept on from LaunchCart. Like I feel like most people don't know about this or they don't utilize it or they don't know it's full power. This is so amazing. If you are a true marketer, you know that these are so essential and important to have across your website, e-commerce store. This helps create, once again, trust and credibility. So I'm gonna go ahead and select save. I'm going to come back here to this tab. I want you to keep your eyes right here. I'm going to click refresh. Here we go. Right here. Secure online payment, fast customer support, fast shipping. These are going to give your customers peace and they're going to feel safe. And they're like, okay, secure online payment. That when I input my payment, it's 100% secure. Okay, fast customer support. If I need help, I could reach out to them and they're going to get back to me. Fast shipping, fast worldwide shipping, great, I love to hear it. None of this is lies and it's true, especially when you're selling print on demand products. Of course, this right here, make sure that you do reply to your support tickets if they come in, but I love this. This is so important. I always turn this on the second I start editing any homepage because I don't wanna to forget to add this. It's just an element that you need to have in launch cart, knew that, knows that, so they built it in into the features and they made it easy peasy, um, already putting in the text and the icons for you. Once again, you can always add more. Okay, so moving on to the last section of this video is moving on to the colors. So going back here, do you see how my colors are this kind of orange color, right? Red, orange, up here it's orange. I hear it's orange. So we want to change that. I want to match the colors of my brand. Okay. I want to match the colors of my logo. 
So going back over here, set your primary color. Choose a color that represents your brand. These colors set here will change many small accents on your theme. You may also use a custom value. So you can select, you know, a color from here or put your custom value right here, which I'm going to do because I always want to keep my branding very consistent. That's what's going to set me apart from these other online stores out there. So I just went and copy and pasted it. I'm going to click save. As always, coming back over here and I'm going to click refresh. And look, as you can see, look at this little accent color up here. It's green now. My button's even green. So actually, I'll probably be changing this background color to be white because I want my button to show and pop. Okay. Scrolling down. My icon images, my benefit images are green. These links are green. This is green. So it's on brand. It's looking good. The only thing that's not really looking good is this blue. This blue isn't on theme. I'll be sharing with you in a future module how to change these background colors on your store. But just right now, I wanted to share with you how to edit and customize the accent colors, the button colors, and so forth. But it's already looking good. So going back here, I just want to show you one last thing. Show advanced options for advanced store owners who want more control. Enable this option to set individual color options, which will overwrite your theme default color scheme. So you can turn this on. And as you can see, there's buttons, product price, product titles, category titles, and so on. You can come here and change the color of each one of these. I typically don't really mess with this. The only time I do is when I have a client and they have a secondary color that they, that they know they want shown across their site, then I'll come here and play with this. But typically I just leave it off and I just keep this one. Okay, you guys, so that was it for today's video. We went over how to edit and customize your homepage and colors of your store. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.